there are tons of YouTube videos and blog posts out there advising you to rub mayonnaise onto the leaves of your houseplants as part of your regular houseplant care routine. There are a number of reasons why they think this is a good idea, but this is one of the worst pieces of advice you can give to a plant parent and I'm going to explain why in this video. When researching my next YouTube video, I saw an article in the Express Online from the UK from a gardening expert about the benefits of rubbing mayonnaise onto the leaves of houseplants. So I thought this sounded strange to say the least and went against all my houseplant care instincts, so I decided to investigate it a bit more. I then found a bunch of videos on YouTube espousing the same benefits of using mayo on houseplants, which I find incredible and really careless because there's no evidence that shows that rubbing mayo on the leaves of your plants does anything good for them. In fact, it does harm to your plants. So why are people telling us to do this? Well, the main reason for its use, they say, is as a DIY leaf shiner for your plants. Supposedly, if you clean the leaves of your plants and then rub a mayonnaise solution onto the leaves, it will leave them shiny for weeks to come, thereby making your plant look pretty and shiny like a fake plastic plant from Ikea. They say this is because mayonnaise contains vegetable oil and egg yolk, which apparently acts as a leaf shining agent on your plant's leaves. Mayonnaise also contains vinegar, which as we all know is a fantastic cleaning agent and really good at breaking down stubborn grime. You've probably heard about the uses of distilled vinegar as a household cleaner in cleaning stubborn grease in your kitchen or removing lime scale in your bathroom. The same is said to apply to your houseplants, where if we use mayonnaise as a cleaner, we can remove sticky gum and grime from the leaves of the plant, making them look super healthy. Using mayonnaise is supposedly the best way to rid your plant of dust and debris so that the plant can better photosynthesize and push out lots of new growth. So before I go into why I think this is madness, what is the method of cleaning your houseplants with mayonnaise? What you would do is you would put a small amount of mayo in a dish of some kind with some tepid water to make a runny consistency that can easily be spread on the leaves of your plants. You would then dip a clean cloth into the mixture and wipe the surface of the leaves, cleaning them and making them super shiny in the process. After this, you would then go through and clean the leaves thoroughly with water making sure to remove any residue of mayonnaise on the leaves. So what's the issue and why is this so bad for your houseplants? Well firstly, what's the point? The process I mentioned is to clean the leaves with mayo and then after to clean thoroughly with water making sure to remove excess mayo. So why bother using mayonnaise in the first place? Why not just use a cloth and water to clean your leaves and leave out the useless process of using mayonnaise. If you are thoroughly removing the residue, then it's not really doing anything. You're just wasting money by using mayo when you don't really have to. The second problem we have is that obviously mayonnaise is sticky and applying it to the leaves of your plants will leave a sticky residue that collects dust and makes the plants dirtier than when we started. Over time, this will create a layer of dirt on the leaves of the plant that will make it harder for the plant to photosynthesize and store energy, which is exactly the opposite of what this hack is trying to do. Wiping a sticky substance onto the leaves of your plant will only clog up the pores of the leaves, making it harder for the plant to take up humidity and water this will obviously harm your plant in the long run. The sticky residue will also attract unwanted bugs to your plants, such as fruit flies. If you do this, then all of your house plants could attract a serious amount of flies into your house. Clogging up the pores of the leaves with mayo also increases the risk of introducing disease and rot to the plant. So plants transpire water through their leaves, and if we block the pores of the leaves, this will eventually lead to rot and you'll end up with brown leaves on your plant. The most important thing we can do when caring for our plants is to mimic mother nature as much as possible. This is what plants want most. So when we stray too far from what is happening in nature, our plants become unhappy. Obviously, mother nature does not have access to mayonnaise to clean its plants. 
Instead, it relies on water, and so this is exactly what we should be using to clean our plants. So instead, just give your plants a clean with a nice clean cloth and some water. Alternatively, if they're really dirty and dusty and it's been a while since you, they were cleaned, just give it a shower or take it outside and give it a spray. This is very simple and works much better than using these silly hacks that can do more harm than good to your plants. There are lots of other houseplant care myths out there that at best do nothing for your plants and at worst do more harm than good and I talk about six of them here in this video that you can click on. I'll see you there and thanks for watching.